today, ang pag-aaralan natin is about practical Christian living, which is a very important uh, topic, no? How to live according to God's word and not merely to listen to God's word but to really practice it, no? So ang ating pag-aaralan ay makikita dito sa James chapter 1 verses 19 up to 21. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear. By the way, kasali na din diyan ang sisters, no? Know this, my beloved brothers and sisters, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness right. of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. So may God bless our meditation on His word today. Ngayon, uh, kung babasahin mo ang context, in other words, you read not only these verses, pero yung succeeding verses, you will find out that the context is about practicing God's word. Very important po ito, no? Kasi sabi dito sa verse 22, be doers of the word and not hearers only. Bakit napaka-importante na i-consider natin yung context? Kasi kung hindi mo i-consider ang context, ang papasok sa ating minds ay ang verse na ito ay tungkol sa controlling our anger. That is correct. In a sense, that is correct. Pero masyado pa rin siyang broad. No? Kasi ang context determines the meaning of the verses determines the meaning of uh, ito nga ito yung pinag-aaralan natin so hindi pwede na uh, we will just uh, give it a meaning na hindi naman in accordance with the context so kung babasahin mo itong let every person be quick to hear slow to speak slow to anger okay makukuha mo ang impression that this is about anger this is about controlling and restraining your anger pero in relation to what? Yun ang tanong. Controlling your anger in relation to what? At kung babasahin mo yung context, may mga clues dito which will help us understand what this restraining your anger is all about. And sinabi dito, therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word. So may clue. May clue ka na Now, whatever this restraining your anger means, it has something to do with receiving the word of God properly. Okay? So, pag, when you continue reading the passage, mababasa dito, be doers of the word and not hearers only. Again, this is very important, yung context. Kasi sabi dito, be quick to hear sa verse 19. Be quick to hear. Pero ang tanong is, hear what? Ngayon, may sagot na tayo dyan. Based on the context, be quick to hear God's word. So itong be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, it has something to do with the word of God, with practicing the word of God. At ngayon, para hindi na tayo malito, I will now address this directly. Itong be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, it has something to do with how We treat the word of God when it comes to hearing it and speaking it. Ang ibig ko pong sabihin ganito, minsan may tendency tayo dahil may konting alam tayo sa word of God, gusto natin kaagad ibahagi ito, ishare ito, and we want to change people's lives with the word of God when in fact tayo mismo, we have not really taken the time to listen to God's word and we ourselves are not changed. Yon, very important yon. So, actually, we are not yet, we are not yet ready to change others by means of the word of God kasi tayo mismo yung puso natin hindi pa changed by the word of God kasi we failed to listen carefully. At ang nangyayari when we try to teach or to preach or to lecture, ang labas ng ating speaking the word of God is scolding, condemning, angry words. Yan. Konektado na lahat ngayon. So now you will see kung ano yung more specific and particular meaning, meaning nitong words nito na be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. 
the context tells us na itong quick to hear, you must be you must be quick or ready to listen carefully to God's word and wag kang masyadong mabilis na na isalita mo to o ituro mo to sa iba na hindi pa preparado yung hindi pa hindi pa nalinis yung sarili mong puso. Kasi if you try to change others with God's word na ikaw mismo hindi ka pa changed, ang labas ng pinagsasabay mo harsh, condemning, galit, hindi loving because you skip the first step na dapat baguhin muna natin ang sarili natin. So that is the first point no na ang ang, ang, ang simple lang ang ibig sa you, you know sa pagdating mo sa chapter 3 ng verse 1 ng James ang sabi ni James ganito Let that many of you become teachers ibig sabihin huwag kang magmadali na magturo o magsalita ng uh, salita ng Diyos because we will be judged more strictly You will try to change others by means of the word of God pero tayo mismo we have not been changed by the word of God dapat unahin natin itong be quick to hear let's start with ourselves kasi ang danger is ganito the danger is if we will not if we will be quick to speak and instead of quick to hear ang labas natin we will also be quick to become angry at actually very sad very sadly i have seen this in many in many places kahit sa sarili ko na minsan salita lang ako ng salita ng word of god pero ang dating ko pala hindi na gentle hindi na humble hindi na loving ang dating ko pala harsh cruel unloving and condemning so ang nangyayari sabi dito sa verse 20 The anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God because I myself have not been changed by God's word because I failed to be quick to listen to God's word instead I became hasty to speak the word of God I speak it without love I speak the truth pero without love with anger Ang tanong ngayon eh may nagbago dahil sa pagsasalita ko ng harsh ng harsh words angry words kahit word of God pa yan wala instead na lumapi instead of Instead of be- them being driven towards God, they are driven away from God because of my demeanor. Kasi sabi ng Bible, yes, we must speak speak the truth, but we must speak it in love. So yung anger ng tao does not produce the righteousness of God. It does not change people and make them righteous. Kasi ganito pa, this is the... Natatandaan ko yung sabi ng Panginoon na out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Kung ako mismo na preacher ng God's Word, I do not listen to God's Word carefully and I do not allow it to cleanse my heart. Ang nangyayari, puno pa rin ng itong tinatawag na filthiness and rampant wickedness. Puno pa rin ang heart ko ng rampant wickedness and, and filthiness. Uh, what is this? Harshness, cruelty, bitterness, anger. Without my knowing it, hindi ko na alam, yun na pala ang lumalabas sa, sa bibig ko. My words might be right. Tama yung sinasabi ko. Pero yung manner ba, yung spirit ba of saying these things, hindi amo, mali, wrong, wrong spirit. Speaking the right things with the wrong spirit, eh anong, anong effect sa tao? Eh kahit sa mga parents na lang, no? let's make this practical. Kahit sa upbringing ng bata, If magkasala lang ng konti, papagalitan mo na kaagad. Tapos minsan, papaluin mo pa. You know, sometimes we become too harsh and unloving in the way we... we I, I'm just being frank, no? I, it, it happens ako. It happens to me. Will, will it contribute to change the, 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 the child? I do not know. Pero, pero, pero I think in, instead of... Instead of giving rise to repentance, it breeds resentment if we're not careful. Kaya sabi ng Bible, speak the truth in love and unahin muna natin yung ating hearts. Lalo na ako, I am a preacher. I should first take care of my own heart kasi kung mali ang heart ko, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, 
mali na pala yung pinagsasabi ko kahit tama pa ang content pero mali yung manner and loving I do not speak the truth with love it will not change people ang kinatatakutan ko pa baka it make it might make people to become like me kasi they are looking looking up to me if I am harsh and unloving and and and, and, and uh, cruel and inconsiderate and hindi gentle those who are looking up to me will copy my example yun, yun ang isa pang kinatatakutan ko kaya ang prayer ko sa Panginoon, Lord, uh, please, please, please make sure, Lord, na yes, I'm speaking the truth, but help me na ta- talagang I will speak it in love, not not uh, not with harshness and uh, cruelty and like that. Now, may question lang ako, pang balance lang. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na we will never become angry or we will not, what is this, we will not be, uh, yung bang tinatawag na righteous indignation or loving rebuke, there is a place for that. So, hindi naman sinasabi ng Bible na you must never become angry. Kasi si Jesus nga mismo, di ba, he drove out the money changers from the temple. There was a time na ang Panginoon mismo, he became, he became angry. Pero, masasabi ko na parang exceptional yon. Most of the time, talagang gentle siya, ha? Ang, na, ang pumapasok sa mind ko na examples, si Saqueus. Saqueus was a corrupt tax collector, but he did not condemn Saqueus. Ang ginawa niya pa nga, when he saw Saqueus, Saqueus, I will eat and drink with you. The Lord treated Saqueus gently. Saka yung woman at the well, natatandaan niyo yung woman at the well, na he, she had five husbands. Ha? Pero the Lord did not condemn her. In fact, the Lord spoke to her. Kahit na sa kultura nila hindi pwede yon. Na, na what is this? Ang mga Jews are not supposed to talk to women and to Samaritans at that. Samaritan woman yung woman at the well. Pero the Lord dealt gently with that woman. Tapos ang number one example siguro yung woman caught at, at, in adultery. Yun talaga. If the Lord if if there was every time that the Lord should become angry and harsh and cruel, that was the time. Kasi caught in adultery yung woman na yun. That was a violation of God's law. Pero anong sabi ng Panginoon? Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. So yung example na lang mismo ng Panginoon, he was, yes, there were times when he got angry, pero it was more of the exception rather than the rule. Yung mga self-righteous people, he, he, he was angry with them. no Kasi siguro kailangan talaga. Kasi pero yung mga sinners na 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 alam na, na the Lord knew na they were already suffering because they realized that they were sinners the Lord was gentle with them. So yun ang prayer ko para sa sarili ko Lord help me not to be too harsh when I'm preaching especially when I'm trying to change people and trying to show them where they are wrong help me help me not to be harsh kasi alam ko ako naman I'm I'm not perfect din naman eh may mga kasalanan din ako I'm I'm I'm, I'm uh, I have a lot of flaws and def- defects din so lord help me to be slow to anger so anong solusyon diyan ako as a preacher as a speaker of God's word para hindi ako maging harsh para maging slow to anger ako what should I do unahin ko talaga puso ko sabi dito therefore put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness. Start with my own self. Ako mun- uh, I must first start with my own self. Before I try to change the hearts of others with the word of God, I must make sure that my own heart is cleansed by the word of God. Kasi ang dalikado, if I don't do that, ang labas ng, ang labas ng word of God ay parang, parang it can become a weapon na instead bala instead na ang word of god is medicine which i will use to heal others who are suffering from their sins and who are already very sad and uh, remorseful regarding their sins lalo ko silang papaluin eh di, instead instead na nagbago yun namatay napatak <laughs> naman yun ang delikado and i've seen it happen na, na ang, ang ginagawa ng preachers like me who forget to to cleanse their own hearts first they are weaponizing the word of god to beat beat, beat, beat the sheep instead of bandage heal medicate the sheep y- yun talaga ang kwan so how do we change how do we change our own hearts sabi dito 
receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. Ibig sabihin pala, kung ako'y nagbabasa ng Bible, kailangan talaga with humility. Kung gusto ko na ako muna ang dapat magbago bago ko baguhin ang iba, dapat habang nagbabasa ako ng Bible, I am reminded of the fact na, uy, ako ito. Bago ko isipin yung iba, asikwan ito, na ito yung kasalanan nito. Ito, itong Bible, nag, uh, it oh, is sin. about the sin of others. No, isipin ko muna yung sarili ko. It is, this is about me. I should be humble enough to recognize na ako, ako ang kailangang magbago. Ako ang kailangang linisin ng Panginoon. Receive with meekness the implanted word. Ang ganda nitong word na implanted. Kasi ang ibig sabihin, hindi lamang na natanggap mo ang word of God. Pero talaga bang ito ay nag ba? sa puso mo, talagang malalim ang ugat ng Word of God sa puso mo kasi your heart was humble enough to receive the Word deeply. If if our hearts are not humble, we do not recognize our own sinfulness when we read the Word of God, it will not take deep root. Tapos, malilimutan. Hindi talaga matra-transform yung buhay mo. But if we have humility and meekness in the sense that we realize that this is me, I'm, I'm the first one who needs to change then the Word of God will really strike deep roots into our lives and we will be changed. It will save our souls. Not merely in the sense na napatawad yung kasalanan mo, pero salvation in the holistic, holistic sense ba? Na, na, na nalilinis talaga yung puso mo. Hindi lang na naligtas ka sa penalty ng sins mo, but you are being cleansed from the power of sin in, your, in our in our lives. So yun ang ating Bible study, yun ang prayer ko na we should be quick to hear God's word and unahin muna nating baguhin ang sarili natin bago bago natin i you know before we use the word of God to change others. Otherwise, otherwise baka ang mangyari instead of healing the sheep, we will be beating up the sheep. I hope it does not come to that. My prayer is we will be like Jesus. Sabi ni Jesus, uh, learn of me for I am meek and gentle of heart. Let us, let us learn to deal gently with our fellow sinners. <laughs>